birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Good morning, everybody. All right, it's Sunday morning, and guess what? It's Michael's birthday. We love you, Michael. We love you. We're going out to breakfast. Come on now. Come on, everybody. Roll out. Four boys. Here we go. Creamer. The butter has arrived. Butter. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Lifeline with uh, daylight savings time. Lifeline right here. Oh man. Thumbs up, birthday boy. George's restaurant. So good. There we go. Satisfied. Michael, stay here. Oh yeah, that was fun. Breakfast and now time to go run. A little practice for ultra running, right? You gotta in ultra running it's all about fueling while you run. So anyway, we got some good breakfast celebrating Michael's birthday. And yes, I'm going out for my last run of the week, capping off that 120 miles for the week. Solid week of marathon training. I'll break it down once I get back into shooting. All right, let's lace it up. Asics. Oh yeah, here. The Asics Evo Ride is the shoe of choice for today. Final run. This will push us over 50 miles. So full review of the Evo Ride will be arriving on the channel sooner rather than later. And we're back, and we're back. A6 Evo Ride, there we go. 10 miles today pushes us over the 50 mile mark for the Evo Rides. Excited to get you my full review of these shoes. Quite a few people are interested in this shoe uh, compared to the Glide Ride, which is now down on the ground, the first pair. Here we go, uh, right here. So I'll get you the full review for those Evo Rides later this upcoming week. Okay. 120 miles this past week for myself. I'm gonna run you through the Strava runs, uh, 13 miles on Monday, uh, 11 miles in the morning on Tuesday, and then 13 in the afternoon, all right? And that was my first tempo run on Tuesday, six miles steady, three miles tempo, four miles steady. So tomorrow, Monday, actually when you're watching this vlog, I will do my next tempo and I'm gonna double the distance. So from three miles up to six miles for the tempo, okay? Then Wednesday of this past week was my long run, 23 miles, 640 a mile, solid day, great day, felt strong. In fact, I'll just throw this in right now. What gives me the most confidence going into a race, especially an ultra race or a marathon long races is the long run and the threshold runs. Way more than interval days, way more than tempo days. Um, it's the threshold days and the long run. So that was Wednesday. Thursday was seven miles, so absorbing the training. That was my morning run. And then I doubled that day, so seven in the afternoon as well. Again, striving for that higher volume of 120 miles, 
Friday was 15, Saturday was 10, uh, or sorry, Friday in the morning was 15, afternoon 10, and then 10 yesterday, and I posted on Strava, sleep. I slept, I think it was nine hours straight with no waking up, no blowing my nose in the middle of the night, sorry for the details. It was amazing, and you all know how critical sleep is for recovery in marathon training. So sleep plus nine minute pace yesterday on Saturday. Oh, mwah. it was it was amazing. Like it actually, I was pretty tired yesterday. I'll get to that in a minute. And then, okay, today was 10 miles at 7.30 a mile. So my tip of the day uh, for marathon training and really any distance, but I strive when you're at high volume, I strive to feel really, really good, meaning my body feels good, I don't feel overtired. My legs are not too achy. If achy at all, I feel like I'm eating well. I just try, I try to feel really, really well one, at least once a week. Because guess what? When you're striving for high volume, especially if you're just beginning to dabble in high volume, you're not used to it. And your body is adapting to the uh, stresses that you're putting it under. And so today, Sunday, 10 miles, 7.30 a mile, my legs were telling me to, I, I was expecting to run eight minute pace, but my legs decided to go 7.30 pace. What does that tell me? I now feel good for tomorrow's tempo day uh, where I'll, I'll do a six mile tempo on Monday. Uh, so that's what, that's my tip of the day. I just, I, I really strive to feel good at least once a week uh, so that you're not digging yourself into a hole because once you dig yourself into a hole, meaning you're overtired and you can't recover from a hard workout, um, it's really difficult to dig out of that hole without taking time off of running. So anyway, that's my goal. And I feel really, really good right now, confident enough to hit tomorrow's tempo day really solid. Now overall, how am I feeling about running 120 miles in a seven day period? Uh, and that is not the highest volume that I've run in my life over uh, in one week, okay? I've done higher. I'll tell you what that is in a second, and it connects to the question of the day. Overall, again, um, was feeling tired Saturday morning, Friday afternoon, but other than that, I feel great. Uh, now, the faster stuff is coming. Thresholds are coming. And I know like thresholds are gonna really be that test of where my fitness level is at before my half marathon race in Irving, Texas in three weeks from now. I believe it's three weeks. Um, so very feeling pretty darn, pretty happy actually everyone. Like I don't have an injury. I don't even really have niggles right now, which is great. Meaning like little aches and pains. Um, and what else as far as the 120 miles in one week? It does require like getting a little creative with doubles. And again, my rule of thumb, everyone, you do not need to run. I'm just communicating what I like, how I like to train. I think you can pull off a great marathon at 70 miles a week. I really do. So do the math. On average, that's 10 miles a day. I don't think you need to run even over 90 miles a week, okay? I'm striving to do some crazy things in, in my life, in my racing, and, and with all of you here on YouTube. Like, and so I'm continuing to do that tinkering in my training. So here we go. My highest volume ever was right after college, 135 miles in one week. It was a doozy. And I was doing a little cycling on the side as well, I remember now. But 135 miles in one week, I don't even remember how I did it as far as breaking up the mileage. I probably tossed in one extra uh, 15 mile run at some point. I don't even know when because um, anyway, it was hard. And uh, will I get back to 135 ever in my life? I probably will when I'm like, uh, retired and just chilling out and like have nothing else to do. Just go run a lot for the heck of it. But anyway, so 135 miles and the question of the day, and this is not a time to brag. This is simply a time to communicate uh, the ups and downs of training, what works and what does not work. We're mad scientists as runners. We just try, we figure it out. And again, it goes back to why I don't have a coach is because I love to tinker. Okay, so how, question of the day, what, uh, what is the highest volume that you've ever run in your life in one week and and how did you feel okay whether it's 20 miles in a week or 180 miles in a week okay some people do all sorts of stuff like it doesn't matter like just communicate what you have run your highest volume and how did your body feel sound good all right we're not done we're going inside celebrating a little more birthday ah love you guys love you guys here we go all right michael's awake a little few few little gifts for michael head Oh, little 
again for like uh we did it. Yay! Oh, Henry. Jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. And no, nobody can deny, nobody can deny. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Birthday cake is done. Time to get out the broom, time to clean up. You know how it goes with birthday cake and little two-year-olds. I can't believe Michael is too. Okay, we're gonna toss it back right here to the last birthday we celebrated on this YouTube channel. I can't remember what it was, but there's some sort of birthday that'll be right there. All right, thanks for being here, thanks for watching. As always, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.